Does our food supply have as many nutrients as it did 50 years ago? Is the quality of our fruits and vegetables better or worse than 50 years ago? Do modern farming techniques help or hinder the quality of our foods? How can we know the mineral content of our food? To clarify terms here, when I say food, I mean the things that are grown for the purpose of nourishing our bodies. What I don't mean is the fake food or merchandise that fills grocery stores. Anything that comes in a box, can, or bag is full of chemicals and preservatives and most of the nutrients have been processed out. Did you ever wonder why food that comes in a box quite often says vitamin and mineral fortified? It's because all the natural nutrients were destroyed in the processing and they had to add synthetic vitamins and minerals back in so it would qualify as food again. Synthetic chemicals made in the laboratory will never, never measure up to the nutrients in real food. As an aside, all disease is caused by either mineral deficiencies or the inability of the body to assimilate and utilize the minerals that are eaten. On this website, we address both issues. Health and vitality are attainable by consuming quality foods in a form that the body can easily assimilate. Back to our topic at hand. There is an instrument called a refractometer that measures the quality of fruits and vegetables. It is also known as a bricks meter. It checks the bricks level or the sugar slash mineral content of any liquid. Back in the 1950s, Dr. Kerry Reams brought the refractometer out of the laboratories and into mainstream farming. He, being a biochemist and an agronomist, was able to determine the perfect mineral content of everything that is grown. His charts of BRICS numbers are still the standard of measuring the quality of food. Vineyards know when to pick the grapes when the BRICS level reaches a certain point. Orange growers won't pick their oranges until the fruit reaches a certain number. On the bottom of the BRICS chart here it reads, within a given species of plant, the crop with a higher refractive index will have a higher sugar content, higher mineral content, higher protein content, and a greater specific gravity or density. This adds up to a sweeter tasting, more minerally dis nutritious food with lower nitrate and water content, lower freezing point, and better storage attributes. By the way, high bricks foods will not go bad or rot like low bricks foods. They will just dehydrate. The bricks meter is a very simple instrument to operate and is a must-have tool for anyone who has any interest in knowing the quality of the foods they eat. Bricks meters have different ranges, but the most common one we recommend is one that has a range of 0 to 32 in percent of sucrose or degrees of bricks. Different foods have different ranges of bricks from poor to excellent. As an example, an apple with low mineral content will register 6, average will register 10, good will register 14, and excellent will register 18. You will probably rarely find any produce that registers excellent these days because the soils are so depleted of minerals. Biodynamic farming, which is even better than organic, produces some excellent quality food. Grapes have a different set of numbers than apples. 8 is poor, 12 is average, 16 is good, and 20 is excellent. Dr. Reeves spent years coming up with these numbers and they are accepted by the whole scientific community as fact, which is an amazing feat in itself since facts seem to be so subjective these days. It's hard to find two experts that agree on the same thing. Okay, how do we test the foods? Simply place a few drops of juice from fruit or vegetables on the refractometer Close the cover, look through the eyepiece, and read the numbers on the scale 
from 0 to 32. What is it, Jez? 14. That's a good apple. May I eat it now? Yes, you may. It's amazing how low even organic foods are sometimes. I buy 90% of what my family and I consume at a local farmer's market, and at least half of what is available registers poor on the bricks meter. To grow high quality foods, you must have high quality soil. If the minerals are not in the soil, the food will not have a high mineral content, plain and simple. It's a lost art in farming practices to have perfect soil. It's attainable, but not very cost effective. How was the apple jazz? Delicious. Great. There are some growers who care. A few miles from me here in the central coast area of California is a biodynamic organic farm called Mount Olive and they produce very, very high quality food. The prices are a bit more, but it's well worth it. To get the same nutrients you would from a high bricks peach, you would have to eat two low bricks peaches. So even if the cost of the good one was twice as much, which it isn't, you would break even. The reason we eat is to replace minerals we use in the cycle of life. As old cells are constantly being replaced by new cells, our bodies require a good supply of minerals from our food. So you can see why a refractometer slash bricks meter is an important tool sitting next to your super blender. We have available for you a very good quality bricks meter at a very reasonable price. Like everything else, you can buy a cheap one or you can buy a quality one that will last as long as you want to last. How long do you want to last? There is an old saying that says, the bitter taste of poor quality lingers long after the sweetness of a low price is forgotten.